Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Spare Parts, and this is gonna be my 50th subscriber special. I mean, I think I have 50. Last time I checked, I had 49, but by the time I release, I hope I have 50. But anyway, for the 50 subscriber special, I'll be unboxing and reviewing. It's a pretty big set here. I'm gonna back up the Great Pyramid of Giza Lego set. This is a Lego architecture set, and it came out in I think 2022 or 2023, but it retails for $120, and it comes with 1,476 pieces. So a pretty big set. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so first off, we'll take a look at the box art. So starting off at the front, see here, it's like a nice pyramid. I think this is like, they have it look white. So I think that's like how it used to look in the olden days, but now in the modern days, it's kind of crumbly and stuff. And then on the back, they show that very nicely. I think, I'm not really sure what all these, like, I think you can take off the top is what it's showing here. You can take it off and then it looks like that. So that's like them building it, I think. But yeah, they have some nice pictures here. They have some pictures of the real pyramids nowadays. And this is like what it's supposed to look like on display. And then down here, this is what I'm really excited for, is they have like a a picture of like the tunnels inside right here. And that's like what it's supposed to look like. I think you can split it in half or something. But yeah, the box art's really good on the back. And then on the top, we have like some sense of scale. We have like the actual size piece over here. And the sides are more just pictures of the pyramid. So let's get into the unboxing. All right, I gotta be really careful. I don't wanna shred the box. I'm glad they use tape. Sometimes they use those thumb tab things and they kind of wreck the box. Anyway, there we go, we're in. Oh, I see some bags already. There we go, here's our first bag. It's like number five. There's a lot of bags in here. Oh, and they package the instruction manual and cardboard. I really like that. I really do like it when they do that. It just makes it so the instruction manual doesn't get creased. We have another bag. It has some stairs in it here. Number eight. And I'm just going to dump this out on the table. I have the instruction manuals out. There shouldn't be anything else too bad. Wow. Uh, that's a lot of bags. All right, well, I'll come back when I have this all sorted. All right, so I have it all sorted out. And even though it's sorted, I cannot express how confused I am. Like, look at this. There's two one bags. What? Like, that's the same for all the bags. Like, over here, there's two eight bags. There's, like, two five bags. I don't know what this means. I mean, I'll have to look closer. But, yeah, there's uh, a lot of bags, and they have the same number. So, I don't know. And then we have the instruction manual package over here. And they have this, like, weird piece of paper that's talking about how their packaging is more sustainable or something. I mean, maybe that has something to do with the different numbered bags. I don't know. Well... I hope I can get this built. So here it is, the Great Pyramid of Giza all built. And I think it looks amazing. I did not expect it to be this scale and it's just really impressive that they made this like, look at the stuff they can make with Lego bricks nowadays. Like back in like the seventies, it was just like little cars and stuff. And this is just insane, the stuff they can make today. I feel like there's just so many details. And I think for the structure of this video, we'll just work our way from the water up to the pyramid. All right, so starting off here, we have kind of a perspective of the beach in the front, and I think this is supposed to be the Nile River, and it just looks amazing. So actually, when you build this, underneath all these blue translucent plates are like different colored greens, blues, and like reds or browns, and it looks super cool. It gives like the water a depth that I don't think it would have if it was just the normal plates. And like while you're building it, here, I'll kind of bring it closer so you can see what I mean. While you're building it, it just looks like you're laying down random colors. But when you have it all together, it looks it has this really cool depth effect, and I think it looks amazing. You also get these nice boats, which I gotta say, they're kind of flimsily designed. Like, the sails will come off pretty easily, but you're not really going to be touching a display set, so I guess it works good. And you just put them down right here, and I think they look really nice. There's another one over here. This one has a nice gold piece, which I think is cool. And yeah, they kind of add detail. They make it, they like give you some sort of human scale because throughout the set, there's not really, like you can't have minifigures in this set because yeah, I'll just bring down. This is what a minifigure would look like. So yeah, not, not really minifigure scale, but I think these boats give it some, gives it some nice scale. Underneath the Nile at the base of the pyramid here, we have some nice text that says the Great Pyramid of Giza. You can actually change this so it reads the Great Pyramid of Giza in hieroglyphics I think. I'll go grab that piece. So this is what it looks like when you swap it out with the hieroglyphics piece and I think that's super cool. You just kind of snap it out right here. It's one of the black pieces that line the outside. You can just put whichever one you want and I think that's super cool. It's a nice nod to the language they use and 
Yeah, so I think that's a really nice detail. Moving on up from the river, we have this nice little gazebo area with a microfigure statue. I think that's super cool. Not really sure who that's supposed to be, but it definitely adds to this like really nice, high quality civilization that the Egyptians had. And then right here, we have some nice steps, which kind of weird, I gotta say, because they just lead into the water. So if you actually walk down these, you just go into the water. But anyway, they use this really weird building technique. And I'm not sure if it's, there's something called an illegal building technique. And this is something Lego doesn't usually use in their sets because it like damages the pieces or just doesn't fit very well. Here, I can give an example. An example of an illegal building technique would be taking this two by one plate and like sticking it in between the studs right here. As you can see, it stays up, but it's like kind of loose and it'll fall off really easily. And it's just something that you can do with the bricks. It's just something Lego chooses not to do because it might damage the bricks or just doesn't work very well. So I think that's the only one I really know, but this, we'll get into this, but this technique they use here seems illegal. So what the instructions have you do for this part is they have you take three of these like side pieces, not really sure what they're called, but there's a lot of them in the set. And when they have you stack them up like this and then put them right here underneath and then they're supported with this brick. So they're kind of like loose in there. Like they're not really connected to anything. And I don't know, that just, you Lego usually doesn't just have loose pieces. So I don't know, little sus there, Lego. I'm not sure if it's illegal, but you know, might want to be careful while designing your Lego sets. Moving to the right of the gazebo area, we have the workers village. And I really like this section. It's just a bunch of houses. And I think this is where, like, the workers that worked on the pyramid here, which we'll get to the pyramid in construction later, but this is where they kind of lived, so they were right next to the pyramid. And I really like the house design, and the trees are really nice to use this, like, shrub piece, and there's a lot of them throughout the set, as you can see. But I really like the house design. It's really the same three builds over and over again, but I think it looks super cool. And there's also this, like, tower thing that looks like the Washington Monument. Not really sure what that is, but it adds some height to the set, I gotta say. I like it there. And then on the other side of that, I think we have this path here. And I wasn't really sure what these are, but my mom pointed out they kind of look like Sphinx. And I guess so? I'm not really sure. I mean, were they that size compared to the pyramids? I don't know. But it's a nice detail, and they kind of line up on the path up to the pyramid. Then it has another gazebo thing. And then over here, we have some two little pyramids that actually hold some secrets inside of them. These pyramids really do not want to come apart, but I took them apart there. As you can see, none of the pieces stay together. So I'm not really sure if you're supposed to take them off, but they did actually put some sarcophaguses or sarcophagi or whatever the plural of that is in there. And I think that's a really nice detail. I mean, there's not a lot of space, but that's really cool. I'm not really sure like which pyramids these are, but I don't know, nice detail. Beneath the pyramids, we have some really nice foliage with some really nice layers. Like we have like a grass layer right here made out of these like side wing pieces that you usually see on spaceships and then up above we have like some muddy layers i think that's super cool it's actually on both sides i think it really adds some depth to the landscape i know i'm kind of putting it off but there is one more detail before we get to the actual pyramid and that is these really nice sand dunes on the side and they actually have some like things in the instruction manual about why they're there and how it's in like the middle of the desert like the nice thing about these 18 plus sets is in the instruction manuals they have like some information about the sets and I think that's super cool. I really like the extra details of sand on the side. All right, so now we get to the actual pyramid, probably the thing you've all been waiting for. And I think the main pyramid looks really good. It's supposed to represent how people think it looked in the ancient times. I think they did a really good job. I really like how it's all like that white marble or sandstone. It has this nice gold piece at the top, which you don't see very often. It has this nice, like, those white, the white layer around it. I think it looks super good. However, this is really not the main attraction here, because if you actually remove the top, there's another pyramid underneath, and this is supposed to represent it when it was being like half built. Let's take a closer look at it. I really like this feature of the pyramid. I do kind of find it unfortunate that there isn't like what the pyramid looks like today underneath it. I feel like that would have been a little bit better, but I really like the focus on the ancient times and all this detail. Like this is like the like a ladder thing carrying up the gold piece for the top. Now, I'm not really sure what all this stuff is. I think this is like the supporting part for the sand at the top, but there's like some nice worker details and stuff. And I think it looks super cool. I love all the texture, although this is like a nightmare to get all the spacings right. But yeah, I really like this underneath section. And that's not even the best part. I know it just keeps getting better. And if you spin it around, there's the actual like layout of the pyramid. And I think that's super cool or like the tunnels. 
and I think, I don't know, I should look at an image, but I feel like this is pretty accurate to what it looks like. Like we have like the sarcophagus room here and then we have some other room down here and they use some black pieces in the back to give it depth. And I do remember the exits being up here, so maybe a historically accurate Lego set? Who knows? I just, I really like this tunnel detail, although there is something that kind of annoys me about this and we'll get to that next. All right, so the one thing that bothers me about this set, I don't know if it's bothered other people, but it kind of bothers me. I mean, I feel like the set is a great value for money, but I think it, it's great. But the one thing that bothers me is this isn't really a cheap Lego set. And the title of the set is Great Pyramid of Giza. And really, this set is only half of a pyramid. I mean, it makes up for that with like this amazing grounds area, but I feel like it should be called something like Great Pyramid of Giza with River or like half of pyramid with river. I mean, I know if they called it something like that, it probably wouldn't sell as well. But something that really bothers me is that in the instruction manual, like usually in these 18 plus Lego instruction manuals, they have some boxes that like tell you some description about what the set is based on or like, for this, it's like stuff about the time period. But what they have here is a box. Here, I'll zoom in on it so you can read it. Oh, oops. Well, I'll read it out loud. But what it says is, you can use the cross axle and matching holes on the back of the model to connect two of these sets together to create a whole pyramid. So what it's saying is, oh, did you want to get a whole pyramid out of this set? Well, you're going to have to buy another one to get the Great Pyramid of Giza which is what the set is called, the Great Pyramid of Giza. So overall, I feel like the set is a 10 out of 10. Like, it looks amazing. I don't think it needs a back of the pyramid. Like, I know I was complaining about that, but I think it's just an amazing set. Like, it's just the way LEGO treats this. Just It just bothers me sometimes. Like, I understand with a smaller set, them saying, oh, you should buy the second part, but with, like, an expensive set like this, and they're like, oh buy another. I don't know. That just, that just kind of bothers me. But I feel like the set is really amazing and you do not need a second one. This is like probably one of my favorite Lego sets. Just, it's so detailed. Like I was just mesmerized by this water. Like look at all the effort they put into that. That just looks amazing. And then all like the details in the village and stuff and just putting like the sarcophaguses in the, the little, the little pyramids as well. I just think that's amazing. And like all the other things they wrote in the instruction manual are really interesting. Like it's about like what they thought it looked like and stuff. So I feel like the set is really good. It's probably a 10 out of 10. It looks amazing. It's just the way they worded that in the instruction manual just kind of bothers me, but that doesn't, that doesn't impact the quality of the set at all. So there you have it guys. That's my review of set number 21058, The Great Pyramid of Giza. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.